Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and the idea of can we get a relief rally? If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin has been absolutely getting hammered, absolutely getting hammered. Okay, and over the last over the last few days or week or two, we've moved down. We had about a 50% correction. We've moved back up some. Now, the thing is, is whether we are ultimately heading back up and putting in new all-time highs or whether we're heading down, maybe not that far down, but whether we're heading up or down, it seems like a relief rally uh, could be in the cards. It could be in the cards soon. And one way to, to maybe gauge this is if we actually, if we look at the daily RSI, so this is the daily RSI of Bitcoin. And what you notice is, you know, it's generally moving in a downtrend here. Um, we've been moving down basically since that first peak from January. Okay, so we had, we had a peak here and it corresponded to this one. It corresponded to that one. The next peak got a little bit weaker here on the daily RSI and then subsequently the following peak and then the next peak. From here, we had this smaller move, okay, this smaller move that peaked out right there at just shy of 60K. And you can see that yet again, it was putting in a lower high in terms of the daily RSI. Now, the reason we're wondering or speculating, could we get a relief rally regardless of whether the, the ultimate direction for the next, say, six months is either up or down, I, it seems like a relief rally could certainly be in the cards. Okay, the daily RSI right now, right now, is at around 32. Anything below 30 is technically oversold, and you can see we did make it down to that level um, uh, on, on May 19th. The last time Bitcoin was at a daily RSI that low was back in March of 2020, and a lot of you guys were around for that. I mean. A lot of people, a lot of people remember the the daily RSI going all the way down to, um, you know, well below the 30s back in in March of 2020. So the reason we're looking at this is because it seems to me. I mean, again, I'm not a day trader. I don't really know uh, what's going to happen here in the short term. But it seems to me that the chances of a relief rally, at the minimum, at the minimum, seems high. It seems high. And, and what that could look like could be, you know, a move over a week or two where we move, where we come back up, okay? And, and that would be sort of an area we might look to say, are we going to break this trend or are we going to get, continue to get hammered down? So imagine, imagine the price of Bitcoin rallies back up, okay? And does something like this. And then everyone's going to probably be very, very bullish again, especially if we get above 50K. Um, and it's at this point that I think we're going to try to figure out, okay, can we get back above this and are we going to hold it and move higher or are we going to get rejected? One thing we can look at is our trusty bull market support band. Okay. So let's pull up the bull market support band and see where it currently is. Okay. So currently the bull market support band for Bitcoin ranges from 48,898 to 45,849. So, so far, Bitcoin has not had any weekly closes below the bull market support band. It did close below the 20 week SMA, but it did not have a weekly close below the 21 week EMA. Now, if by the end of the week, we're not at like $46,000 or so, then we will be having a close below the 21 week EMA. But let's imagine a scenario, let's imagine a scenario where, let's switch this over to the, to the daily time frame. okay, let's, ima let's imagine a scenario where we do get, at the very minimum, a relief rally, and we're able to get back up to this bull market support band up here, okay? What I'm going to be looking for in that situation is, can we get back above it and hold it as support? or do we get rejected from it and head back down? And one way to maybe keep an eye on that is to, is to look at the daily RSI again and see, hey, are we, are we just sort of continuing this trend of putting in lower highs every step of the way? And if we do, 
if we are just putting in lower highs and, and we continue to get hammered back down, then my guess, my guess is that, you know, we come down and we sort of regroup for a while and then trend back up later on, either in 2021 or maybe in 2020, early 2022. I've always said, I think this cycle is gonna take a lot longer. We're having a lot of intracycle cycle volatility. We had this run in 2019. We're having this run here. If we come back down and have a, you know, a brief bear market like we did in, in this region, I think it's only going to be the catalyst for the inevitable push above 100K. Ultimately, I think that if we come back up immediately and hold it as support and we move up, then we're probably not going to go as high ultimately in the cycle as we could if we go down for a while and then back up. That's that's my thinking. If the further the, the longer we spend down here and the further down we go, I think we'll only act as a catalyst for us to move much higher by the market cycle peak. Alternatively, if we immediately get back above the bull market support band, our, our combination of the 20 week estimate and 21 week EMA, if we immediately get back above that and start moving higher, then I think the market cycle is probably gonna peak out not as high as it otherwise would have had we had that cool off phase. So if you're curious, if you're curious, you know, how to, how to navigate the market, um, if we in fact do get this relief rally at the very least, and I would argue there's a, there's a decent chance we get a relief rally, whether Bitcoin's ultimate direction for the next three to six months is down or up. I think there's a, there's a decent chance we get a relief rally considering how oversold we are, especially on, on the daily time frame here. Uh, it, looks pretty, it looks pretty oversold. And so a bounce could take us back up to the bull market support band. We wanna see if we can get above it and hold it as support. And if we do, that might be a grind. If we get rejected, then I think we're gonna go into a, a consolidation phase where it'll be sort of a, a reaccumulation phase for Bitcoin for the cycle. And, and then hopefully we trend back up, uh, maybe starting by the end of 2021 or even going into 2022. That's sort of where I see things right now. Let me know what you guys think about that in the, in the comments. Um, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe, click the bell icon to turn on your alerts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.